Hey guys, today I would like to talk about the 2014 Lexus LS 460 F Sport Edition. The Lexus LS 460 is a full-size luxury sedan that serves as the flagship model for the Lexus brand. Four generations of sedan have been produced, all equipped with V8 engines and rear-wheel drive. Although since 2006, more choices are offered, the all-wheel drive version, hybrid, as well as a long wheelbase version. All versions come standard with 5 passenger seating. This model features the F-Sport styling package, which features a design that is as bold as its performance. The signature spindle grille is the most obvious exterior design feature on the LS F-Sport, but also notice the exclusive LED fog lamps, front bumper, rear diffuser, lightweight fog aluminum wheels, as well as many other features. The Lexus LS generations have inspired an entire industry through visionary innovation, craftsmanship, and design. And the 2014 Lexus LS line is no exception with its accelerating performance, brilliant technology, and bold styling inside out. In the world of full-size luxury sedans, the 2014 Lexus LS460 is a conservative player, a high-end sedan that's designed to spoil its occupants more than make a flashy design statement or to set new benchmark for performance. Up front, first thing you notice is the pair of LED headlamps with intelligent high beam as well as dynamic auto leveling system. LED turn signal light and LED daytime running lights are also integrated into the headlamp. High intensity retractable headlight washer as well as park assist are also built into the front bumper. The front look amazing with the new visual signature of the Lexus brand, the spindle shaped grille, which was designed to create a powerful expression of precision and dynamic movement. Here is a closer look at the spindle grille. Intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. This particular model comes with the upgraded option, the 19-inch split 10-spoke fork light alloy wheels with 245-45 summer tires. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated disc brakes, as well as the large brake caliber painted in black with Lexus lettering on it for faster stopping. F Sport badge on the fender, one on each side, to further differentiate the F Sport model. Side view mirrors with integrated LED turn signal light. On top, you see the sunroof that can be tilted up for ventilation or slide out for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 19 inches in size. The LS460 also features electronic brake control, anti-lock brake, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, as well as many other features. To the back, you see the LED tail lamps, the L-shaped LED brake lamps, and the LED turn signal lamps. LED brake lamps illuminate faster than traditional incandescent light bulbs and also alert driver behind quicker. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser with chrome strip running along the top portion of it and the dual chrome tip exhaust. Parking sensors are also built into the rear bumper. The backup camera is located right above the license plate. It will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. And on top is the third LED brake light. Okay, here on the remote I have the lock, unlock, trunk open, and the panic button. Behind you have the Lexus logo. 
let's open it up and check out the interior. The car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, press the button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, put your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The car does come equipped with self-close automatic door on all four doors. If you fail to close it, it will close for you. The exterior color is known as Nebula Gray Pur, featuring all black leather seats, black on the dash as well as the door panels with aluminum accenting trims all around. There's the app sport seat. Looks really nice. All right, now let's jump into the car, start it up, and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the LS460 have to offer. Under the hood is a 4.6 liter V8 engine, 4 cam, 32 valve with electronically controlled intact valve timing, dual fuel injection system, 8-speed sequential automatic transmission, drive mode select with eco, normal and sports mode, rear wheel drive, pushing out 386 horsepower and 367 pound-feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in 5.4 seconds, top speed is electronically limited at 130 miles per hour in the US, EPA estimated fuel economy is 16 CD, 24 highway and 19 combined. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver side door panel. It have three position memory seating and featuring the uh, silver aluminum trims kind of have the carbon fiber effect to it. All four windows are fully automatic. Mark Levinson speakers. Here you have the uh, door storage compartment. Lexus aluminum door seal. There is the F-Sport pedal. There you have the trunk release buttons, hood release, as well as the gas cap release buttons. And a closer look at the F-Sport seat. It is perforated and offer heated and ventilated options. F-Sport logo embossed on the headrest. 
The F Sport seats are heavily bolstered and have been exclusively enhanced, but that's just one of the many ways the F Sport goes above and beyond to deliver an intense driving experience. Driver seats feature 16 way power adjustable seats, while the front passenger seat feature 12 way power adjustable seats. Front seats also feature 3 preset memory for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirrors. The three spoke F Sport design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with perforated side grip, looks and feels really nice, with the F Sport badge at the bottom and aluminum trims in the middle. Featuring multi-function control side-by-side -side for your convenience, with control for the most frequent vehicle functions, as well as audio, hand-free telephone, and voice command. Behind the wheel you have the up and down paddle shifter, so you can put the car in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. There you have the windshield wiper controlled, and here you have the light controlled, as well as turn signal light controlled. The LS460 feature electro electroluminescent display gauge. When the LS is started, the gauge illuminates in sequence, and rather than relying on ambient light during the daytime, electroluminescent gauge technology provides a sharp, luminous display regardless of lightning conditions. It also features power tilt and telescope exterior column. Over here you have your side view mirror controlled, and it does offer folded options. And there you have the auto headlamp, heated steering wheel, blind spot monitoring system as well as park assist. There you have the uh, little storage compartment. And here's the control for the uh, instrument lightning control as well as headlight washer. Here is a look at the dash. The LS460 features a navigation system with 12.3 inch split screen multimeter display with the industry first available 12.3 inch high resolution split screen multimeter display standard on the LS. It provides immediate and simultaneous access to maps and audio or climate control. The voice activated navigation system uses a hard disk drive to store maps and data. Additionally, it can recognize over 100 voice commands, maps over 8 million points of interest and display information in English, French, and Spanish. Beautiful aluminum accenting trim on the dash and the beautiful round analog clock, dual climate controlled. There you have dual cup holder and a 12 volt power outlet. There's the remote touch that allow you to easily move through logical menus of the LS features located centrally for your convenience. Buttons on either side are accessible to both driver and passenger. The Mark Levinson audio system that comes with this model features 19 speakers, including the subwoofer, with a total output of 450 watts. With all the power, you know for a fact that the sound quality in the LS would rival the finest concert hall. Here's the gearbox. Push the unlock button and pull down for reverse. Once you're in reverse, the side view mirror will tilt down for an easier backup, as well as the reverse camera. It will activate on the multimeter screen with guidance line for a much easier backup as well. And just pull down again for neutral and again for drive. Over to the left for manual mode. That's when you, uh, you can start using the uh, paddle shifter located on the steering wheel. Very easy to use. Okay, located right under the gearbox, you have the knob so you can switch to a different driving mode. There is a mode for every mood, whether you are looking for added accelerations or taking a relaxing drive through the neighborhood, drive mode select enables you to make your LS more responsive or efficient with a simple turn of the switch. 
There is the heated and ventilation on and off buttons for the seat. And in the middle you have the rear sunshade buttons. Whenever you need to block some of the sun out from getting into the car. There you have the center storage compartment with the USB auxiliary and 12 volt power outlet. Glove box compartment. And here is another look at the F Sport seat. On top, you have the SOS service that you can use in case of an emergency. And here you have the tilt button for the sunroof one touch tilt, one touch open and close. The sunroof can be tilted up for ventilation or slide out for an open air feeling. There you have the light control. And the sunglasses holder. Here you have the universal garage door opener, sun visor mirror, alright now let's check out the rear seat. Rear seats offer plenty of space and a lot of leg rooms as you can see and there is seating for three in the back. Rear windows are also automatic. There you have the uh, little ashtray and the storage compartment on the door. Lexus aluminum door seal. Rear seats are also perforated. Alright, let's jump into the rear seat and see how it feels. First, here is the look to the front cabin. Very luxury and does have the sporty looks as well with the F Sport uh, options. Here's the look to the uh, sunroof. Dual air vent for the rear passenger. Down here, you have the 12 volt power plug. Now, the rear seat is really comfortable to sit on. I'm 5'8", and this is how much leg rooms I have left. Have plenty of leg rooms left. So for a taller individual, you'll be as comfortable as I am in the back, and still have more room to stretch your legs. And there is a mirror on top of your head, one on each side. And here's the light control. There is a total of four air vents in the back. And here you have the rear armrest with a storage compartment and two cup holders for the rear passenger. Uh, right there you have another storage compartment. Here is a look to the back. There you have the hook to hang your clothes. Very comfortable in the back. Okay, now let's check out the trunk. 
and see how much cargo space the trunk have to offer. The trunk offer 18 cubic feet of cargo space, a pretty decent amount of cargo space for its class. You can put large grocery luggage as well as a golf cart luggage in the back in the trunk and there's your spare tire and you do have the original rims for your spare tire one touch close All right, now let's check out the gas tank. Gas cap is located on the driver's side and hold approximately 22.2 gallons of fuel. And it does require premium unleaded fuel only. The LS460 offer luxurious touch at every corner. Whether you're in the rear passenger seat or the front seat, Everyone will be greeted with nothing but luxurious features and will be very comfortable at every seat you take. Overall, the interior of the Lexus LS460 features outstanding material including soft leather and high quality vinyl and padded surface are joined with elegant contrast stitching. Wood trim is artfully applied mixing with metallic surfaces and chrome details for a modern look. Alright, let's jump into the passenger seat and see how it is. Really comfortable in the front passenger seat and a lot of leg rooms as well. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2014 Lexus LS460 F-Sport Edition. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so for more future in-depth video review. And I'll see you guys next time.